Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I am gonna do my makeup. Did you guess that? Be honest. Um, I got my hair done yesterday. It's amazing, truly amazing. What a good haircut and like little change up will do for your mood and your confidence. Cause I walked out of that place and I was like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I bought a new, bunch of new makeup online at Sephora, online um, at Ulta, and then also both in store cause I'm a psychopath and that's what I did. So also look at my stubby disgusting nails. My nail girl is an hour away and she also has been in Mexico for like a month. And I was like, bestie girl, these nails are crusty, dusty, rusty. They've got to come off. So I took those off this morning. And do I feel like a little boy? Yes, I do. It's fine. Um, also, fun side note, you guys, if you've watched me for a while, you know that I love the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. It's this one. I pass away for it. I think I've gone through like five or six of these. Why is it not focusing? There we go. I've gone through like five or six of these and I just love them. But I stopped using it because I was like, no, I think that it um, has non-acne safe ingredients in it. So I just didn't use it for a while. Well, I don't know why it never occurred to me to walk, like back that thought up. And um, am I bruised on my eyes? Oh, I also have this pimple the size of Arkansas. I did indeed check the latitude and longitude and it is the exact size of Arkansas. So... That's depressing. Anyways, I woke up with that, which was rude, and I have PMS, so I guess I'll just cry myself a river. What was I talking about? Oh, anyway, I looked it up, and it is acne safe, so hallelujah. For me personally, it's the way that my face gets so red anytime I touch it. Is that the most sensitive skin? Yes, it is. I literally just look at my skin at the wrong direction in the mirror, and my skin's fully flustered. Also... I'll do a video on this, but I got Sculptra, which is a injectable, but it's not a filler. So I was like, I'm not against fillers, but I'm also not like a big, huge fan of fillers and like the longevity and stuff. But I wanted to get something that would like help me prevent, um, just for like anti-aging and stuff and also to like snatch the face. You know what I mean? But basically what it is, is it's an injectable that makes you produce your own like collagen. So it starts taking effect after like two to three months, but the first 24 to 48 hours, it like has that look because it's like sitting, um, under the muscle or on the, I don't really know. I don't really know, but like moral of the story, it's not a filler. And we did some in my jaw and we did some here in my medial face. Um, and I feel like it made a difference. So if I'm 72 years old, looking like I'm 14, you heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. I'm going to do my normal skin prep, like my normal um, tinted moisturizer or tinted sunscreen and with a debronzy. And then I'm going to try some new face products. Okay, so I have this big box of makeup. Let me show you. I have this big, huge box of makeup of like all new makeup from Sephora and Ulta. But I also bought this in store. This is the Giorgio Armani Multipurpose Glow Concealer. It's the um, Luminous Silk Concealer. And I bought it in the shade 6 because it has olive undertones. And I was like, I want to try that out. I also have the new Rare Beauty. I'm so excited about this because I tested it in store and it was so good. This is the Rare Beauty um, Positive Light. Did I make that up? Is it even called Positive Light? Under Eye Brightener. I don't know. Maybe I did make that up. I have a new Rare Beauty blush. You guys will see. You guys will see in the haul. But I'm just going to, like, try a bunch of new makeup. I also got this powder puff from Beauty Blender. It was so intriguing. It was so intriguing. And I'm pretty sure Rosita Applebottom. Applebum? Applebum? Did I make up her last name, too? What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, she was talking about this. And I was like, you know what? I think I need that. So, guess what I did? Purchased it. I also have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have the Rare Beauty a bronzer stick. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try it again because I feel like I did not give it a fair. I didn't give it a fair thought, you know. I really didn't. I was out here, not not giving it a chance. Okay. Also, I picked up the Makeup by Mario foundations and the Forever the Dior Forever Skin Glow foundation because this is an acne safe foundation, and I got it in the shade three Warm Olive. I got the Makeup by Mario foundations in the shade eleven N and twelve O, which is an olive undertone and a neutral undertone. Um, I went in store three days ago two days ago and swatched these on my hands but I'm gonna be honest with you it was hard to know Sephora lighting anyway is kind of jank I mean let's be honest with each other um it doesn't have like the best lighting at all so I don't really know um but this is the shade 
12O, which is an olive undertone. A lot of people, if you haven't heard them talk about it, it is a, it has like shimmer in the actual formula, um, which scares me to death. But at the same time, it doesn't because I'm like, you know what? Make it by Mario. I trust you with my actual life on the line. I'm choosing Mario. You know what I mean? He and Ariel can do absolutely no wrong in my eyes. So, for comparison, this is the shade 11N. Who was that? Who was that that just came out of my body because that was not my voice? You're done. So, this is the shade, shade um, 12O and this is the shade 11N. This literally looks scary. This looks gray. I'm scared to death. I'm spooked. And then this is the shade 12 Warm Olive from, not 12 Warm Olive. Am I drunk right now? What's going on? Um, 3 Warm Olive from Dior. So, that's what we got going on. I don't know. And then, like I said, I have the concealer. I also have the new e.l.f. And then I bought the brush that goes with the foundation because, obviously. And then I bought this new Hourglass Primer. This is the Hourglass... Vanish Primer. Hourglass is so generous with their PR packages. Once upon a time, they sent me um, a massive PR package with basically just every product that they have in multiple different colors and shades. And I was like, you guys, that was so sweet. I appreciate that so much. Um, let's make a concoction. Let's, let's make a concoction. You're going to say, Katie, why are you doing that? You're not even benefiting us at all with this review. Um, but it would, would it be me if I didn't do something like this? No, it would not. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. Okay. Teeny tiny bit. We don't mess around with a lot of foundation around here. If you do, more power to you. Not my personal journey. Not for me, sister. Then I'm going to take the shade 12O from Makeup by Mario. And do a tiny, tiny, tiny pump of that. That is um, the Dior. And then this one up here. No way am I lying. I really don't. The one down here is a Dior and the one up here, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to put on a little bit of this e.l.f. Halo Glow in the high points because I do want to be a glowy girl. I have this in the shade 5, which you guys know that I love to use as like a, um, like under my bronzer and stuff. I just think it looks really nice. But I also wanted a lighter one for highlighting purposes like I'm doing right now. Also, my skin was really having a moment. Like, it just was not looking so good. And, I mean, I had this pimple, but I also had PMS. So, like, we're giving ourselves grace. You know, like, calm down. Um, but I really think I was just over exfoliating, and I didn't realize. So, I'm going to take this foundation brush from Makeup by Mario. One side is um, a fluffier side, and the other side is, honestly, kind of looks like a sculpting brush. But I'm going to use the sculpting side and go in with a little bit of that foundation. Oh! Does that match me perfectly? And put it over the areas where I just want a little bit of coverage. And I'll show you guys up close so you can see like what it looks like going on. I really like this brush. Let me tell you what we're going to do first of all. Cover that godforsaken pimple. Also, the thing about this camera is it exposes my everything. You know what I mean? Um, like if I wanted to keep something from y'all, I couldn't. Why is my nose breaking out? Also, after this, I am going to, if you don't follow me on TikTok, first of all, Capital punishment. That is rude. Second of all, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was telling everybody on TikTok that I'm doing a pageant. I'm doing the Miss Kentucky USA pageant, so vote for your girl. Um, and I'm going after this to go shop for an interview outfit for the pageant, which I think is exciting. I've never in my life. Also, I was told that we were wearing like t-shirts and trousers as our energy off and I was like perfect we don't have to spend a ton more money because it is indeed costing one billion dollars and so um then I read the handbook this morning as one does and it said just kidding you're gonna need an interview outfit that's another billion dollars okay perfect so should I be an ace artist to be honest okay well slap your grandmother that looks good you know do you all remember that song that was like um, what's, what is it? I almost meshed two songs right then. The one where it's like, slap your grandma. When I was a kid, that really messed me up. I was like, why, why are people out here smacking smack their grandmothers? My Nana would knock my teeth out if I did that, you know? But we're from the South. I'm gonna take this concealer, place it on this godforsaken blemish. That matches my skin tone actually, actually perfectly. 
And I'm going to take it over here and a little bit around my nose. You guys know I'm not a foundation girl. I do have a little, um, that's my bruise from where we did sculpture at. Crazy girl. And I'm going to take that same brush because I really, really liked the way that it looked. And I'm going to just pat it a little bit. I love how natural this looks. I just wasn't expecting that. You know what I mean? Like I just fully was not expecting it to look so good. And I only used a teeny tiny bit. Like you guys saw, I barely used any and I don't like a lot of coverage. But as far as like how my skin looks, minus that rude pimple, it looks really pretty. You guys. Okay, next up. I also bought the, I bought the new Milk Makeup. Um, Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer because Tony Sub Dallas was talking about this and I died for Tony Sub Dallas. And then she also was talking about the Liquid Gel Contour. So I picked it up. But today I'm going to use the um, the Rare Beauty one because why not? Also, I bought the Tweezer Man Lashes because Kellyanne, you know, Kellyanne, Makeup by Kellyanne, Makeup XKA, said that she loved these Tweezer Man Lashes, Lash Curlers. And everybody, like they had really good reviews. And so I said, put them in the cart. Need I say more, you know? Um, so that's that. Also, I was editing my video the other day and I realized how much I say. So that's that. And I thought, bless everyone's heart that watches me, honestly. I'm going to save this for just a second. Or for, I'm going to use it in just a second. Right now, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. And this is in the shade Always Sunny. Selena, bestie girl, let's be friends, honestly. Whenever I saw everybody go to her event in New York, I was like, I'm disgusted that I'm not there. Truly disgusted. Um, I used this last night over top of my makeup and I really liked the way that it looked because it goes on really creamy. It's also acne safe. Um, it goes on really creamy and it just looked good. I'm gonna take this fat, pH fat brush um, from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is the e.l.f. powder brush and do my bronzer like that because back in the day, when I was a wee lad, I used to use a really big powder bronzer brush for my cream bronzer and it changed my life and it blended everything really, really well and dispersed the product. And I'll be danged if it didn't just do it again. Also, if you pay attention to a lot of um, makeup artists, they use bigger brushes a lot of the times, like not tiny, tiny little precise brushes. They use bigger ones because it does disperse the product and just make it look more natural. It also just blends everything really, really nicely. And that is my vibe. I think a lot of people who are newer to makeup need to maybe not lean so much on makeup artists, but like lean on, let me quote the Bible, their own understanding um, when it comes to makeup. Because also I'm gonna use a dense one or like more dense for my nose contour because um, that powder brush ain't gonna do nothing for my nose. So anyways, I think that people get obsessed with like watching people how they do it on TikTok or how they do it in like um, on YouTube videos or something like that. But if you're not very good at makeup, bestie girl, why are you trying to be good at makeup? Like just do what you know works for you. Use a big fat brush. Make it look good. Go back to your roots. Calm down. I'm also going to use, wait, do I want to use that gel contour? I could try. Oh wait, I also got these. I got the e.l.f. Um, Luminous Putty Bronzers. I got the shade Happy, wait, what is this color? Summer Fridays and Happy Day Trip. Day Trip, I just put happy in there for no reason. I don't know why I said that. Um, We could try that. I'm gonna try to get some on this brush. This is the color. It kind of reminds me, this is the color, Um, has Summer Fridays. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Tower 28 Luminous Putty Bronzer, but or just a liquid cream bronzer, whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Here's up close of my skin. Also, I've been putting it up on my cheeks to, like, lift my face rather than in my hollows. I do think, though, that, like, sometimes when you're using a big fluffy brush like this, it um, absorbs a lot of the product, so you may have to use a little bit more. It's kind of give and take, you know what I mean? But I don't know that I've ever really gone through that many products, so. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty um, Eye Brightener. This is the shade Light Medium. 
I don't really know how much that I need, but I know it doesn't have that much coverage. It's just like a little eye brightener. And I love that this has a little bit of a peachy undertone because, well, I like a peachy undertone. This is a little absurd for me to do, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to take this Beauty Blender um, Puff, and I'm going to use the fluffy pink side and dab under my eyes and see if I like how it blends it out. I may hate it. I very well may absolutely despise it, but I might not either, you know? I think it absorbed all the product, to be honest with you. I'm going to use the same foundation brush that I used. I don't really like to use a brush for concealer or um, really anything around my eyes because I feel like nothing gets in there. I do have the Rare Beauty brush that goes like with the concealer, but it's honestly my makeup vanity and I just don't want to go get it. Okay, that looks really pretty. It doesn't look like makeup under my eyes at all, which if you know me, you know that I love. I'm going to use a little bit more because I don't, it's a very, very, very thin consistency and formula and you don't get coverage but that's not really what I'm looking for anyway I do just want it to be bright but it's just there's not much going on you know what I mean mm, what's going on I love that so much okay I'm sure that didn't just brighten my entire under eye and make it look like I've slept for 23 hours straight shut your mouth that looks so good you guys, Miss Selena. Okay, oh, fine. This year, I am manifesting and believing that I'm meeting Selena Gomez. Did you know one time she was the most followed person on the internet? I only know this because um, on the Kardashians, obviously, um, they were talking about how Kim was the second most followed. And she was like, who's more followed than you? And she's like, Selena Gomez. And they were like, oh. And I was like, Gotta keep it out for Selena, you know. I'm gonna use this new shade for me. It's a shade Encourage. I'm, you know, I just, mm, I don't know that I'm gonna like this. I don't know that I'm gonna hate it either, but we'll see. It's getting purple. I just, it's not my journey. It's just not my journey. I'm gonna use the other side of this Mario brush, the more fluffy. Do I love this brush or do I love this brush? Okay, shut up. Shut your dirty, rotten mouth. Why did that become the prettiest color I've ever seen? <sighs> okay. Mm okay. This just changed my life. Not to be dramatic. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on that pimple because every time I look in the mirror, it's staring at me in the eyeball. And that offends me. So, you're done. You are D-O-N-E done good concealer you guys what the heck just happened okay matter of fact matter of fact where are all y'all from usually i use the shade happy you guys know this i think i am going to use the shade happy uh, and mix it with encourage i want the shade lucky so bad but it's always sold out which is rude it's the it's also a um, cool tone pink, which is exactly what happy is, but it's dewy, and I'm like, that's me, in a brush or in a blush. Also, I've been setting my blush a little bit higher up on my cheekbones, um, which I feel like makes a difference and pulls pulls your face up and gives it like that lifted, snatched sort of look and vibe, you know, which is truly always what I'm going for. Also, I have to do my makeup for um, the, like, part of the pageant stuff, like, for the headshots and stuff. And I'm so nervous because I know how to do my makeup, obviously. But this is, like, different makeup. This is, like, a good amount of makeup because these headshots are, these headshots are no joke. And let me tell you, they are expensive as well. Okay, I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just going to use... My Dior Powder Bronzer in a shade. Actually, it's not even a bronzer. You guys know. My No Powder Powder in the shade 6N. Um, they are apparently... Makes me ill to even say that loud. Apparently, um, Legend has it. They're discontinuing this product. So, um, 
I will be posting a video about having a moment of silence um, for this bronzer or this powder that I use as a bronzer. So if you guys, maybe we could do a YouTube live, honestly. Maybe we could all be invited to a YouTube live to have a moment of silence for the Dior um, No Powder Powder in the shade 6N. Um, am I offended? Yeah. Am I gonna email Dior? Yeah. Yeah, I am. And be like, do you know that you have caused me to go into, I don't know, cardiac arrest? Speaking of arrest, they should be arrested for this behavior. I'm going to push that concealer in. That's another thing. Let your concealer sit and then push your concealer in instead of like swapping it around or something. If you're trying to get more coverage out of it. I'm also still going to use my powder baron or my powder blush. Oh, I got a new powder blush too, which I'll show you guys. But I'm going to be honest with you. I really, when it comes to blush, I'm extra. I'm extra. I'm extravagant. Um, I love it. Also, my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy is broken. She gave us a good run though. But I'm going to use this on the top of my cheekbones because I can't um, do my makeup without it, obviously. And then the new blush that I got is actually from Too Faced. Look at this packaging. How stunning is that? Stupidly stunning. And then that's the color. It's beautiful. It's the shade um, Candy Clouds. Okay, that's stunning. Um, I'm just going to take this on my Morphe and Ariel brush and put it really under my eyes because that's what I like to do with pink blush. I think that it is just a beautiful like way to set down, not really set your makeup, but like set down um, your blush and give it like a well-rested, really pretty like baby doll Kylie Jenner sort of look. And that's a really pretty blush. I love it. Shout out to Faced. I got a new powder as well. I got the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent um, loose setting powder, but this is the talc free setting powder. So it's acne safe. Talc is a very extremely, um, actually apparently talc is horrible for you just in general, but also apparently it's really bad for acne prone skin, which we all know that I have. But I really, really like the way that my under eyes have looked. But I have learned that I do need to set my face if I want my makeup to last, even if I don't really love the way that it makes my makeup look initially upon application. Um, so I'm gonna take this powder puff and I put the um, some of the powder into the puff and then I rub it in my hand to warm it up. And then I'm gonna go in and set around um, my eye area and then on the sides of my nose. That really blurred everything though, like it looks really nice. So I'm fine with it. Lean with it. Oh, put it. Lean with it. Okay, anyways. So, that's that. And I'm going to, like, do the rest of my makeup. I forgot to use that daggum primer. Oh, well. I'm going to do the rest, of, <clears throat> the rest of my makeup. Like, my eye makeup, my eyebrows and stuff. Because it's nothing new. And then, if we pull up to anything new, I'll let you guys know. If not, um, that's whatever. But I'll have everything linked in the description box for you. Okay, I finished my makeup. I did... I'm a little glam. That is so shiny on my eyes. Calm down. Anyways, I finished my makeup. I just did my regular makeup that I've been doing every single day as far as... Why does this have the grit on it? I'm so confused. Um, That I did in my last video, the like chatty get ready with me video. That's it's the same makeup look. So if you're interested in figuring out how I achieved the eyes and the whatnot, um, it was literally just my hourglass palette, this one. The two bronzer shades mixed and put on my eyelid. That's it though. Those are all the products. Um, I just wanted to try everything, put it on my face. I'm going to be trying them in upcoming videos. I really like the way they turned out as far as um, quite literally everything. I think everything, everything turned out really well. Um, I like it a whole lot. I think my skin looks really, really nice. I think it covered up that pimple nicely. I think it's glam, but it's not super glam. It is wearable every day, just really pretty makeup. I like it a whole lot, honestly. So that's that. I'm going to film my um, haul after this. So if you want to see all the products that I purchased, make sure to go watch that haul. It might already be up. It might not. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Hope you have a fabulous day.